It's me, Lucy again, and I have another name of God for us to look at today. It is the name Holy One. The word holy means that God is perfect and good in every way. He never does anything wrong. We see this name in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 25. It reads, God, the Holy One, says, can you compare me to anyone? Is anyone equal to me? The Israelites had their first meeting with the Holy One at Mount Sinai. After being saved from the land of Egypt, it was time for the Israelites to learn who God was and what He expected of them. Let's take a listen and find out what happened. Three months after God rescued the Israelites from Egypt, He told Moses to give His people a message. You have seen how I take care of you. Obey me and be my special people. The people agreed. Then God said to Moses, On the third day I will come down on the mountain and visit my people. Tell everyone to get ready. Whoosh, whash, splash, shake. All throughout their camp in the wilderness, the Israelites scrubbed their clothes and hung them up to dry. Isn't this exciting? One person asked another. I wonder what will happen when God visits us. On the morning of the third day, the people stood near Mount Sinai in their clean clothes. They heard thunder and a loud trumpet blast. They saw lightning in the sky and a thick cloud on the mountain. The mountain shook and the clouds smoked when God came down on the mountain in fire. Then the Israelites heard God's voice speaking to Moses and to them. I am the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, God said. Worship only me. Never make or worship idols. Speak my name wisely. Rest on the Sabbath day and honor your parents. Don't kill people. Be faithful to your husband or wife. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't be jealous of what others have. The thunder and lightning, trumpet and smoke frightened the people. But Moses said, don't be afraid. God wants you to honor him. That's why he has come to give you these rules. Then Moses again went up on the mountain to hear more from God. He wrote down God's rules and read them aloud to the people. God's rules showed the Israelites how special God is. They agreed with him again and said, All that the Lord has told us we will do. Not long after this, God gave Moses instructions for making a beautiful worship tent called the tabernacle. Tell all the people with willing hearts to bring gifts, God said. Here is what they can bring, gold, silver, and bronze, red, blue, and purple thread, linen, leather, acacia wood, olive oil, spices, and jewels. I will show you how to use these gifts for making a tent where I can live among my people. People gladly brought their gifts and soon the work began. God told Moses how to build the tabernacle and all the items to go with it. These included a golden lampstand, an altar, and a special box called the Ark of the Covenant, which reminded the people that God was with them. When the work was done, God told Moses how to set up the tabernacle. Then the cloud that led the Israelites through the wilderness covered the tabernacle as the greatness of the Lord filled it. When a gymnast makes no mistakes in an event, we say she scored a perfect 10. When a baseball pitcher strikes out every batter, we say he threw a perfect game. People can sometimes do certain things perfectly, but we can never be perfect because we sin. We do things that are wrong, but God is perfect, holy, all the time. God is good, loving, kind, merciful, powerful, and just. He never does anything wrong. We cheer when we watch a gymnast score a perfect 10 or a pitcher throw a perfect game. We can cheer for our perfect, holy God too. One of his names is Holy One. There is no one else like him. God's holy presence continued to be with the Israelites as they traveled through the desert. Eventually, they arrived at the border of the land God had promised them. 
But the Israelites were afraid of the people who lived there and refused to go into the land. So God sent them back into the wilderness to live for 40 years. When they came back the second time, the people responded differently to God's command to enter and take the land. Find out next week what happened. See you again soon. Bye, friends. Dear God, I love you and trust you because you are holy, perfect, and good. There's no one else like you. Amen. Amen.